guys, Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music and a breakdown. Uh, one of my favorite bands, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Can't Stop. Now, Frushanti uses his thumb uh, a lot on the low strings. Uh, I'm going to show it to you without the thumb because that's easier for me. That's why you, you know, I'm doing a couple little different things. Uh, but I will show you what he's doing and then show you the way that's easiest for me. So uh, let's break it down. Also, thanks for supporting uh, Marty Music, you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, here we go. All right, so Frushani uses his thumb as part of his major technique, like all the time. I'm not good with it, and I know a lot of other guitar players like yourself out there don't use their thumb. I'm gonna show you how he does it, but I'm gonna teach it to you the way that's most comfortable for me, um, which is without the thumb. So we start with the intro, which is 5-7 on the A string. So 5-7, Five seven, five seven, five seven, five seven, five seven, five seven, and when you hit that seven, there's a little bend to it. And then eventually it goes da da on the seventh fret of the A string. Now there's tons of muting and percussion going on. If you're not good at that, it's better to like learn the notes first and the way the riff goes, then start focusing on the percussiveness. Um, the way I do the percussiveness is a little different than Frushani. Uh, so if I go like that, I'm using my index finger to mute the low E string, just like the tip of it. And then the rest of my finger is muting the other strings while it's hitting that um, seventh fret of the A string. So da da. And it's going to, all the little bass notes are going to keep going back to a 7 9 on the G string. Like that, so. Like that, so. I'm using my index and ring finger. There's different ways to do that. But once again, you wanna think like you're kind of, uh, I'm using my pinky on the higher note because it gives more fingers room to mute and, and get that percussive sound, so like. So I'm kind of like thinking of my hand as like a piece of paper on top of the strings and then, and you know, muting everything. And then the tips of my fingers are hitting the notes that I want to bring out. Okay, so. Du, du, seven, nine, da, da, seven, nine, da, 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 D. So this is where I do it differently than Frushanti. Um, but I want to show you how he does it, so you you know if you want to be 100% to his technique, um, he's doing he's playing the open D string, and so he's muting across with his thumb and index finger, like that. I'm choosing to keep my hand like this to to mute the way I'm used to, and hitting the fifth fret on the A string. That's how I'm going to teach it. So. Five, which he's going da, 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 da. so da, 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 five and then seven nine again on that G so da, 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 da. so then it's five da, 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 to the seven on the low E so check it out here it is without the percussiveness does that and then eventually it goes to da 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 and this is where he'd be using his thumb like that um da 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 or middle finger so that's the eighth fret of the e and then right back to here right back to the top so check it out seven on the a and then just the idea of your hand kind of lightly covering the strings at all times just enough, and then pressing down on just the notes you want while the rest of your 
hand mutes the strings like that. See, I can strum the whole guitar. We're just hearing that note. And once again, I'm using my pinky to help because I have my other fingers to keep muting, so. Here it is slow. And just remember that first one's da da, but then later on it's da. So you got. Here it comes. So he'd be just any of those E string, low E string stuff, he's using his thumb. All right, so eventually, as you go through it, you know, it goes. And then instead of that, it goes to a C major seven chord. And he's, you know, once again, doing the uh, thumb, ar thumb arando. Um, but here's the chord. He likes the major seven chord for things. It's in under the bridge too. So, uh, you know, it's just like this, seven, eight, nine, 10. And you could just play that. You could just play that, you know, without hitting the D string. That's the chord, and then he wraps his thumb around to hit the bass note and mutes the A string. So it would be... Then it goes into the chorus, which, you know, once again, he's doing, he doesn't do bar chords like that. It's all thumb, but I'm gonna do bar chords. So it's a G to D. So I got the G bar chord here, and then I got the A shape bar chord here. Then I go to B minor bar chord, which is a seventh fret, E minor looking shape. Then he goes to that C major seven. You can get your thumb around if you can, so. So G, D, B minor, C major seven. Dun, 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 dun. You know, he really lets that top end shimmer out. And then finally, the last time of the chorus goes, right, you know that, just like hits, right, and then,
So the only other uh, like real part of the song is the bridge, which is uh, just the, the chords of the verse with like a skank kind of thing, right? So you have E minor, D major, B minor, and that C major, you know, which we've been playing C major seven, you could just play a C major bar chord. So. So it's like if you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, you're gonna skank, you know, very percussive and sharp and tight uh, on the and. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then he, you know, rips a pentatonic solo uh, on the next part, which is, you know, that, you know, with the with the flea man. And then that's gonna that's gonna get you all the way through. So I hope that helped. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support of uh, my very own uh, Venture Marty Music. Thanks again. Let me know in the comments below what other songs you'd like to learn, Chili Peppers and otherwise. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. See you later.